I've found six different products that have helped me generate over $1 million using Google Ads. The thing about Google Ads is they require a completely different set of product criteria compared to let's say Facebook or TikTok. You need to do a specific type of research to find those type of products. I do have a couple different product research tricks up my sleeve and I'm really excited to share them with you. Now ideally to do product research you would be located in the country where you plan on selling those products on Google Shopping. But if you're not in that country like I am, I primarily sell to the US, but I don't live there. I use an app called NordVPN, and this allows me to make my location the United States. I typically do Los Angeles. We're also going to need a Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. What we want to do is we want to start off by searching for general product groups. We want to see that it has a good amount of search volume, and that's demonstrated right here due to the Keywords Everywhere tool. The next thing that we would do is we would take that product group and we would go down here and we would look at anything that's coming up as a related keyword to that product group. So when we come down here, you're gonna see we have Google folders, we have folders for Chromebook, and then we also have a couple down here too. So let's say we look at something like this, a shirt folder. Now we're going down the product rabbit hole where we can actually see some random products like a shirt folder, that's something I never would have thought of on my own. But if we look over here, it does have a reasonable amount of search volume every single month. The cost per click is relatively low. And then if we come over here, you're also going to be able to see the trends for this search term. So if there's a product that's getting consistent volume like this, that's a great sign for Google products. Then we can continue down the rabbit hole and go down here and look at what else we got under shirt folder. Now there might be nothing or there might be some complimentary keywords, which this is a really great sign too, because if you decide to progress forwards with that product, a complimentary keyword like t-shirt folder would give you another keyword that you could add into your product title when running that product on your Google Shopping ads. So let's see what ends up happening when we look for something super broad like hair care. Hair care as a general search term is gonna be way too broad and that would be really hard to target with our product because we're just gonna get absolutely destroyed by all the other competition. But when we come through here, we can see kind of like a subcategory of hair care, which is hair care for wavy hair, hair care for curly hair. So something like that would be awesome. Let's go ahead and click in that and let's see what we got going on. Now, even though this doesn't have a massive amount of search volume, that doesn't matter because this may not be the core keyword for that product, but it definitely has very, very consistent demand, which is super good to see. Down here, you're gonna see we also have some other complimentary keywords that could be added into our product title, like best hair care for curly hair. Now, another way that you can use keywords everywhere is by actually searching up different types of activities. We would just go ahead and put in skateboarding, and of course, it has a bunch of demand, which is awesome. And then if we come down here, this one was really interesting, skateboarding anime. Like, what the heck does that even mean? It just kind of gives you an idea of how far down the rabbit hole you can go. There are no limits to this product research. You just keep going until you find something that has high search demand and also is something that you think would stand out and be very unique. So the next tool that we're going to be using, it's called Merchant Words. Now, this one's specifically meant for products on Amazon. We're going to be able to get a lot of data to do with products that are performing well there, but that crosses over to Google products very seamlessly. So using a similar technique over here on Merchant Words, we're going to look up product categories. So as we come down here, you're going to see we have so many different product ideas. So as we come through here, there's a couple different things that we want to look at when we're looking at different product ideas. Of course, first, we want to see that they have good search volume. But the second thing that we want to look for is does it have a lot of results? So already after a couple minutes of scrolling here, I already found something that's pretty interesting. And that's this right here. It's a six cube storage organizer. But then as I continued down, I also found this one, which was a nine cube storage organizer. This is really cool because we got a lot of search volume here and we got a lot of search volume here low competition and then down here we also have low competition. Why this is cool is because it's super easy to just create a product pack of six cubes and then also do an upsell potential of let's say nine cubes. So when it comes to the nine cube organizer and we put it over here in Google, we see that we have 3,600 monthly search views and a 50 cent average cost per click. But then when we go ahead and we put in the six cube storage organizer, we now have 880 monthly search volume 
and 48 cent cost per click. So you can see it's two different search terms for essentially the exact same product with the potential for upselling, which means that we have a combined search volume of somewhere around 4,000 per month. Now with this product research method, as we go through, you're gonna see that there's a massive amount of search volume for certain terms. But what we need to do now is we need to go through and verify that there actually is demand over on Google as well. So let's say we take this product right here, a pet food storage container. On Amazon, it has 61,600 search volume. But then when we come over here to Google to verify this product, it shows that it only has 6,600 search volume per month. So when it comes to verification of this keyword right here, I would say this still aligns quite well. We've got a good amount of search volume on Amazon and then over here on Google, we still have a decent amount of search volume over here. So with a couple cool tools in your belt now to find winning Google products, a very important thing that you need to know how to do is identify winning product criteria. So when we look at this search term right here, portable washing machine, it's showing that there's a massive amount of demand and search volume for this product and a very low amount of competition. Now, when we take that same keyword over to Google, so with that inputted, now we're gonna be able to see that there's a massive amount of search volume for it on Google. There's a relatively low cost per click, which is another thing that we're looking for. And then after that, the thing that we wanna look at is the competition. So when we come down here, these are gonna be the main competition for this product. Product. And as you can see, this is something that's a little bit concerning. We have very, very high competition when it comes to brand recognition. So we have Walmart, we have Home Depot. But a pattern that I'm definitely noticing here is a lot of these portable washing machines are actually very highly priced. So this one's a little bit lower, it's about 69, but the rest of these are all around like $300. So to find maybe a different product alternative that's not quite that high in price, but still has high demand, what we would do is we would go back here and we take that search term right there. Because it has such a high amount of volume and such a low amount of competition on Amazon, I wanna see what the best selling one is on Amazon. Maybe it's gonna be different. So when we come over here to Amazon and input that search term, you're gonna see the first one that shows up. I think that definitely is one that's a little bit similar to one of the main ones being sold over here. I would say it definitely is a little bit more similar. That one definitely is It's almost the exact same as another one that we saw. And then we got this one. So this is one that I was showing on my winning product video. And the reason why this one stands out, even though it has bad reviews, is because of how much cheaper it is. And I think it actually has a good application. So at this price point, you can see on Amazon it's selling for this much. That would make you kind of along the lines of competitive. We could potentially be selling our product for about $60. And that would put us way below the price point of all these other ones, except for this one right here. And as I showed before, when it comes to product research, this may not be the main search term that we actually want to target. We may actually want to target something that's still got a good amount of search volume. And the way that we do that is we scroll down here and we look at some of the related search terms. So portable washing machine and dryer, mini portable washing machine, trying to find different search terms that are more long tail that you could potentially target. Because if a search term is long tail, the chances of these bigger brands or companies that have these massive budgets for spending on Google Shopping won't be targeting those because they're gonna be targeting those main keywords that have massive search volume but are also way more competitive. Now, I didn't wanna leave you hanging. I did wanna give you an example of a product that has potential. A fish finder has a good amount of search volume for the main search term and that still doesn't mean that we need to target this one right here because something like fish finder for kayak could still give us a great amount of search volume, a great amount of customer interaction and a good amount of demand for the product product that we're trying to sell. And we could of course tailor the product, tailor the product images, tailor the product page, all around a fish finder that's specifically for kayaks. So I hope you're excited to go out and test some new Google products that you're almost guaranteed to find using these tactics. Make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoy this channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.